I would like to make some comments tonight about the five-year plan. I think that tonight I'm not going to vote for it, and I want to ensure that I, I state the reasons why and also feel that it needs to be uh, reworked. I think a five-year plan should prioritize the needs of the city. I think the plan should invest to produce more jobs. Uh, you know, Chesapeake is a very, very great city, but I want it to be the best. And I think we need to focus on three things that this plan integrates uh, not enough. One is the schools, one is safety, and one is family. So let me address the schools. In the past three years, our schools have only received in, in, in prior to this year 11 cents for every critical capital need they've requested. Uh, in 2013, they received nothing, zero. 2014, five percent, and 2015 and 16 are better, yes. But our schools, from my calculation, cannot address the needs of, as the speaker said, Oscar Smith, Middle, Chittam, Indian River Middle, Oscar Smith High, and et cetera, because they're, they're not going to have the flexibility until later in this to try to address those situations. And some of those, I feel, are critical to the quality of the schools. The second area is safety. Of all things we do, schools and safety, Elbow Road is a good example. Elbow Road is dangerous. In fact, I know we had an item come up a couple, a month or six weeks ago, and the reason to vote on it was provided uh, that, look, uh, it's dangerous, but this development will help it go from an E to a D. It won't correct it. And then there was a TV segment on Wavy TV where a member of the council said, yes, it is dangerous, but we, it is dangerous, but we don't have the money. Yet that's not in the plan. Mount Pleasant Road is impossible. Bruce and Tyrek nodes, roads too. These critical corridor, corridors for all for emergency vehicle access and businesses, but they're not in the plan. In fact, the second most funded transportation item is the 22nd Street Bridge. This bridge, we're, we're allocating $20 million, or we're, we're, we're saying we're gonna do $20 million for a bridge that carries 5,000 vehicles a day. Mount Pleasant has 40,000 vehicles a day. Last is, the third is family. Quality family recreation. Parks and recs have no new recreation centers. In fact, if you look at them, most were built in 1975. No new parks. And of the $8 million for parks and recs, 30% is that going to renovation of the conference center. The conference center is not parks and recs. The plan does not invest and maximize our ability to create jobs. And why? Why am I saying this tonight? Because we're putting too much cash towards this. I'll give you an example that I gave to a real estate agent the other day. If you're selling a home and the only buyers that can buy that home have to put 70% down, 60% down, 50% down, you're not gonna have a lot of buyers in today's market. And why is this occurring? This is occurring because they want a AAA bond rating. And even the rating services are stating back that the cash component is too high. And that if our economy turns, the cash may be the critical element that keeps us going forward. Also, by using all the cash on today's taxpayers, we're asking today's taxpayers to pay for all the, these things, even though the people using them may not have moved here for the next 10, 20 years. And we may not be here next 10, 20 years. And if this continues, this policy, this type of plan, we should really be asking for a real estate cut because we're not managing our money effectively and efficiently. The plan continues by sacrificing everything for a AAA bond rating. And to be honest with you, I'd rather live in a AAA city than get a AAA bond rating. Our schools, high quality, safety, and families are what will produce our jobs. And that's what will increase our real estate revenues. Higher quality, higher revenues, more revenues, more things that we can do. That's the positive vision. Elbow Road is the best example of why this plan needs to be revised. Instead of approving more houses and more developments as an excuse to get a partial fix, we need to take responsibility and invest in Elbow Road to make it safe 
The Elbow Road project is estimated at $10 million. To do that, you need $1 million down, and you can bond the rest over 20 years. In contrast, the $20, the $20 million that's going to be looked at to spent on the 22nd Street Bridge is 5% of that amount of money. Chesapeake is great. We need to make it best. We need to prioritize our needs. We need to be proactive, not reactive. I cannot support this five-year plan. I hope tonight my fellow council members will act to revise it, will act to uh, delay it. But these, to me, are the critical components that should be in a five-year plan. High-quality schools, safety, and families. That's what Chesapeake is about, and that's how we're going to create jobs and move forward. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Thank you. Before I go to the city manager,